So we've got our font. This is the hand-drawn font that I've been working on. And I've doubled up on some of the characters. I've color coded them. The pink ones are my standard, um, standard letters. And the green ones are the alternates. So what I'm going to do is open up the information block and then go to features and under classes we're going to add an empty class and we'll just name this default and then what we're going to do is we're going to select all of our pink letters so the ones that I want to have an alternate version of we select all of those letters and then right click go to copy glyph names and we just want them as space separated so click that that'll copy them into your clipboard and then we're just going to paste it straight into there and that's all we have to do with that section let's make another one empty class again we're going to call this alt one and for this one we're going to copy all of our ss01 versions those are all our alternates so again select all of them right click copy glyphs space separated press command and i to bring up the information block once again make sure that we're in alt and paste into there so one thing that you've got to remember is anything that is in here so from a to t with all the extra stuff in there as well like the e circumflex etc has to have the same order in here as well for your alternates for your sso ones otherwise it'll swap out different letter um, which is a little bit annoying so now what we want to do is go to features and we're going to go for c a l t for contextual alternates so we'll click that we've got our contextual alternates there and in here we're going to write in sub space at select the default space at default again and then we're going to use an apostrophe space by space at alt one and remember to add a semicolon to the end just to make sure that that works uh, this this just finishes off the uh, off the line so basically what we're doing is saying if in the string of a letter we've got a standard default character followed by another default character it's going to change that second one to an alternate version so that should then work as a contextual alternate and if we just click update as part of good practice go to one of our letters so i'll leave the feature off and now if you type in two capital b's you can see that there the two capital b's are exactly the same but if we head down to the bottom left can't, probably can't see that on screen there because it's falling below but you can click contextual alternates into that and it'll change our characters so we've also got uppercase c's and t's undercase uh, lowercase c's uh, lowercase t's sorry lowercase l's uppercase l's etc so then when you type it in things like bottle it's got a little bit of a, a different flow about it it's got more more character so we've got the same with uppercase e's and lowercase e's as well so that's how you can make your hand-drawn type look even more naturally hand-drawn